welcome to doctorate wise today we go for communication skills what communication means what is communication communication is a latin derivative which means to share to share your thought your feeling to others is called communication so to share your thought and feeling to others is called communication so why communication skill is very important in present day society how to communicate effectively and what are the ways to communicate with others it is today's topic so as i said communicate is a latin derivative which means to share your thought or your feeling to others what are the ways to share your thought and feeling to others there are several ways first informal communication semi formal communication formal communication there are three types of communication first one informal communication what is informal communication we share our feelings our ideas with our parents with our relatives with our friends with our well wishers with our neighbors this is called informal communication the way we interact with others through our mobile it is informal communication so in our native language in our mother tongue daily we interact with others it is purely informal communication most of our times our oral communication depends upon informal communication most of our times we interact with our parents our friends our well wishers our relatives our oral communication is about these areas only it is called informal communication second type of communication is called semi formal communication what is semi formal communication it is a business interaction it is a business interaction it is a semi formal interaction with others suppose you order for your mobile or through amazon or flipkart and you get a problem with that mobile so you call to the customer care just to interact with that person in a semi formal way not informal not semi formal it is second type of communication third type of communication is called formal communication what is formal communication so you interact with your teachers your lecturers your professors your academicians or you officials unknown people you use this kind of communication it is called formal communication all your academics is about formal communication it is the only reason it is the only reason to test or to conduct ielts examination toefl examination for non native english people or non english people toefl examination is to be conducted for non english people it means it is not to test your uh, proficiency like english people they don't expect you to speak like american or african they are looking at you whether you are using formal language or not whether you are good at formal language or not whether you are able to understand formal language classes or not why because european classes classroom teaching is about formal language they never use informal language in classes because almost all faculty members university professors are doctorates doctorates never use informal language speaking language or using language doesn't mean that to speak language blah 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 in informal way to use formal language so all academics is about formal language so what is a formal language what is the main part in formal language suppose a teacher gives you a lecture the same is written whether you write or speak the same language is there it is called organized language formal language is organized language formal language is logically organized language formal language is proven language it is objective language not subjective language it is objective language something is done something is right whether you speak or write the same thing is there it is called formal language so it is the only reason doctorate candidates are preferable for university teaching 
it is the main intention behind it means to expose to formal language skills so here in our country unfortunately still we are not cope up with formal language skills even in our mother tongue we use it in informal way in a natural way we think that we are good at uh, the language one more drawback with our uh, education system is to speak english in a blah blah way that is enough for us what is what does it mean it is not enough you should teach language in a formal way from schooling onwards even students need to focus on formal language skills if from childhood onwards students have been focusing on formal language skills they are ready to get good scores at tofel and gre or ielts examination tofel and ielts examination purely it is about lsrw skills so now what is a communication tool what is communication how to improve your communication what are the ways to improve your communication skills it is today's topic so first as i said there are three types of communication first one is informal communication second one is semi formal communication third type of communication is called formal communication except academic communication remaining business communication and informal communication most of our life most of our times we interact with our family members and friends relatives in an informal way that is called informal communication so how to improve your informal communication how to improve your formal communication first you divide th this particular part into three parts semi formal formal and informal so what is informal just we use like hi hello how are you in my teaching career i observed many of my students just send me mails or uh, sms sir hi sir hello sir when they write letters and when they, when they say send mails they say like it hi sir hello sir it is informal expression hi hello how are you these are informal expressions you should not use these kind of expressions to your professors you should use formal language because we never thought that language is having these kind of patterns we never exposed to uh, in formal language in our mother tongue we think that whatever we speak that is language whatever i know that is language actually what we don't know that is language what we know that is not language so it is not about blah blah language it is about informal language it is about formal language so first to improve your communication tool to improve your communication skill what is important so what is communication it is the latin derivative which means to share your idea or your feeling to others suppose you want to share something to your mother or father to share some expression some information to your mother is different from your father even mother and father there is a difference between sharing information when you go for your mother the way you look at her the way you interact her is quite different from the way you interact with your father so suppose you have a brother or sister at your house the way you interact with your brother and sister is quite different from the way you interact with your parents when you interact with your neighbors is quite different from the way you interact with your parents as well as brothers and sisters when you interact with your friends that is quite different the way you interact with your parents you are more comfortable to interact with your friends than your parents you are more comfortable to interact with your mother than to your father you are more comfortable with your brother and sister than to your parent you are more comfortable with your friend to interact with your friend than your neighbor or elders why because these are the variations how to interact with others first you understand the possibilities the variations of communication what communication means to share your thought to share your idea to share your expression to us to others first type of communication is oral communication there are two types of communication skills one is oral communication second is written communication what is oral communication oral means word of mouth express through your mouth that is oral communication second is written communication by writing or today's uh, electronic uh, writing means uh, mails all these things are called electronic writing it is different 
paper writing is different electronic writing is different so here the thing is how to interact with your parents the first thing is it is about face to face conversation face to face communication suppose you go to speak to your mother you want to get something from your mother you want to ask some question to your mother so there you face to face person just suppose you are here you interact with your mother first you look at your mother isn't it just you try to look at her feelings facial expression suppose if she is serious you don't ask that question if she is comfortable then you raise question in a polite manner according to others body language you react according to the situation it is called body language so first if you want to ask a question to your mother you look at your mother's face if you want to ask a question to your father you look at your father's face if you want to ask a question to your brothers and sisters you ask, you look at the same time if you want to ask anything if you want to interact with your friend you look at your friend's faces it means that communication means body language is vital role in communication body language plays vital role in communication when you interact with others before opening your mouth 30 to 40 percent of your communication your expression reach to that person by looking at that person you can understand as well as other person also understand when you go to your mother just you want to see immediately she understand okay this person came for this particular issue if you go and to meet your father when you look at your father once he looks at your face immediately he identifies that okay my son came for this particular purpose so majority of our maximum communication is reach to your father as well as to reach to you through your body language first priority is body language so what is body language without opening your mouth is called body language language is expressive to body as well as mouth word of mouth means when you open your mouth and speak out the language is called oral language and body language means your body expresses your language we watch movies like charlie chaplin means through body language only they show their uh, uh, talent without opening their mouth we have a telugu comedian like brahmanandam just through his body he expresses his language instead of opening his mouth it is body language body language plays vital role in communication communication skill communication skills means people think that english speaking is communication no english speech is not at all communication english speech is different communication is different communication means to share your thought feeling emotion to others is called communication language is not a barrier english is one language it is a tool hindi is another language telugu is another language communication is different language is different language is a tool to express your thought but the system is very important if you understand the communication process language is not a barrier for you it is easy for you first thing is body language through your body language you express your language then how can i express my body language how can i improve my body language that is the question immediately you get a question how can i improve my body language skills so first thing is in your body language what is important what is highest important eyes are important in your body language to eyes because eyes are called living cameras eyes are called living cameras many poems many movies are made based on eyes when you open your eyes the world is bright when you close your eyes the world will be dark that is the power of eyes most of your language most of your feeling most of your emotion most of your expression express through your eyes be careful about your eyes if you watch english movies still they follow some patterns formalities so how to express their language means by using their eyes eye contact eye contact plays vital role in oral expression first and foremost thing second is called facial expression 
your face is index of the mind in english language there is a proverb like face is index of the mind your face reflects your personality your face shows your language what you want to share what you want to ask that is called facial expression first one eye contact second one is facial expression next third very important part in body language is called hand movement hands are very very important hand movement is very very important in communication just how to move your hands according to the situations when i took some classes soft skills classes for students just i asked them when you speak to people you never touch one hand to another hand you believe that or you feel that just these are like wings so why birds are beautiful why children look at birds not because of they are flying because their wings just like magical things they are moving like it because of the wings of the birds only children or people or uh, small children look at birds it is the reason it means that if you feel that these are wings automatically you feel comfortable just to leave your hands never touch your hands never fold your hands like this back side front side like this just don't fold like this just leave your hands hands should be always flexible just leave your hands so very very important thing is hand movement so body language means first eyes next to facial expression face third is hands these are three primary things if you understand this if you maintain these three things automatically your body language is enough for you this kind of body language is enough for you when you speak with others when you interact with others when you speak to elders when you speak in public these things this these all called body manners we are not taught these things body language should not be taught in academics because we never exposed to formal language skills from our schooling onwards we have been exposed to examination oriented education system even languages than skills knowledge is different skill is different so here first thing is eye contact again i am giving you one more time i am speaking about one more time regarding to body language skills first one is to eyes like cameras eye movement or eye contact just to move your eyes like it, this side that side eye movement look at other person's uh, eyes next to facial expression face is index of the mind so our face reflects our mind second is facial expression first one is eye contact second one is facial expression third is hand movement next leg legs posture gesture all these are different the meaning are different especially these three but our problem is when we speak with others we don't know what to do with our hands most of the times we get problems with our hands when we stand before people we don't know what to do with our hands that's why we put our two hands in our pockets or we fold hands like this or we keep our hands back side or we fold our hands like this or we put our hands on your face on your head or somewhere else like it like it it is a good bad sign it's not correct it is not proper way to handle your hands just be comfortable leave your hands it is body language first eye contact facial expression and movement these three are very important in body language skills next thing is next important is oral communication oral communication what is oral communication how to improve your oral communication skills how to interact with others if you know your body language properly if you understand your body language automatically 50% of your language is already expressed or delivered you don't bother about it most of our language expresses through our feelings only by using our symbols signals so signs so remaining language is oral language word of mouth oral means word of mouth what should i speak so what is it what is it about what should i speak how should i speak what can i speak how can i speak 
so predetermined so before going to a particular place first you have a clear idea regarding to what you want to ask before going to ask a person something first you have an idea what should i ask so use your mind before going to a particular person a particular person you think that what should i ask him why because we have been exposed to informal language from childhood onwards even our mother tongue that's why we are comfortable with our parents friends well wishes everybody when you we meet uh, unknown people or business executives or academicians or whatever it may be unknown people we feel difficult to face them we think that i don't know language that's why i am getting problem no it's not about your language problem it is about you don't have any idea regarding to that particular topic it is the reason why because in our day to day life we think that what we speak that is language it is not a language it is a conversation conversation is different communication is different conversation means to interact one to another to skip from one topic to another topic various topics when you interact with your parents you skip from one topic to another topic there is a flexibility when you interact with your friends or well wishers whatever it may be relatives just you skip from one topic to another topic so you don't need to prepare you don't need to use your mind to interact with your well wishers it is informal language informal language never expect or you don't need any kind of preparation to express your informal language that it is easy that's why many people or students especially present day students prefer informal language so formal language require so much of preparation so much of practice is required your mind is also required to use formal language apply your mind otherwise it is not possible to you to use your formal language so formal language require so much of preparation so use your mind analyze it before going to interact with unknown people unknown person so all your academic interaction you need formal language all business interactions you need semi formal language all your professional interactions you need formal language there are three types of language informal semi formal formal even in our mother tongue we exposed to only informal language why present day people are not good at communication because they are not good at communication in a formal manner because they are not good at their mother tongue why children are not good at uh, communication means the reason is they are not good at their mother tongue you say that no he has been speaking telugu fluently he has been speaking hindi fluently he has been speaking this fluently speaking fluency is different from getting command over the language using language for a particular purpose for a professional purpose so informal language everybody speaks illiterate people speak better telugu than literate telugu people everybody speaks language it is conversation language conversation means for that particular purpose only it is enough it is useful to meet that requirement informal requirement you don't need much language for it suppose your mother asked you to bring something you go and bring it you don't need to speak if you want to say one or two words yes or no that is informal language but coming to formal language just you need to apply your mind to apply your mind you need to listen to it properly so here listening skill is at most important than hearing skill it is also included listening is different hearing is different what is hearing what is diff- listening hearing means hear hear this side this side go this side hear this side and goes this side listening means through your ears goes to your mind your mind analyze and again the thought or idea comes through your mouth it is called listening and speaking what you have understood there is a process mind process is there mind activity is also included in listening but hearing you mind is not required you don't require mind to hear but you require mind to listen 
So most of the people, most of the times we people think that just hearing is listening or speaking English is enough. No, it is not enough. Even when you go for companies, software companies, HR person looks at you whether you are good at your body language or not, formal language skills. The way you look at the person, your eye contact, your facial expression, your hand movements, and as well as the way you speak to other person, unknown person, he is not your friend and familiar person, unknown person, unidentified person, how to interact with unidentified person, whether the person is using formal language or not. That is to be tested. So whether the person is using organized language or not, logically organized or not. If you speak blah, 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 blah for 10 minutes, but there is no meaning, there is no value for it. But all you need is organized language skills are very important. You should need to focus on formal language skills, informal language skills, semi-formal language skills. So for all these areas, you need body language. Eye contact, facial expression, hand movements, these three. Remaining are okay. So these are the three primary things. Eye contact, facial expression, hand movement. Next, articulation. Next important thing is articulation. Before speaking hours of time, so how do you speak language? How do you express your language? Whether you are speaking clearly or not, words are coming out through your mouth clearly or not, that is to be tested, that is to be identified. If you speak clearly, other person is able to understand your language. If you speak blah, 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 other person may not be understood. So your aim is, first you organize your thoughts in your mind. When you speak, speak slowly, clearly, effectively. That's why most, many times, have you observed or not, the best English process in India or in abroad, they never speak very rapidly. They speak very slowly. All teachers teach or language teachers teach very slowly, means word by word, sentence by sentence, organized sentences, organized words, organized expressions in a flow of manner, in a continuous manner, on a particular topic, on the same topic. That is important. Why? Because we need formal language skills. We need formal language skills. Communication means not speaking English language. Any language, especially nowadays, there is a huge demand for English language communication skills. When you go for business, you need communication skills. Go for software field, you need communication skills. You go for teaching, you need communication skills. So globalization made people to focus on communication skills. So much of confusion is there in communication skills. Thousands and lakhs of videos are available in communication skills. But why people are not good communicators? Because, because the only reason is it is a skill. It is a skill. Unless you apply your knowledge, you never become a skilled person. Before closing out this video, just I tell you a small story which I had heard it, I had learned it when I was a graduate. A graduate student so so there was a, a pundit there was a professor of physics who knows each and everything about technology science space science everything 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 one day he used to go to a nearby place nearby village there he was looking uh, to cross a river to reach that village, he needs to cross the river. So there was a boatman with a boat and he asked the boatman, Hey boatman, I want to reach that village. Do you bring me out? Oh, yes sir, why not? It is my duty. How much do you want? Only 10 rupees sir. Very cheap. Okay. This pundit sat in the boat. The boat was moving in the river. After 10 minutes, this pundit looked at this boatman. Hey boatman, do you know space science? The boatman turned back and asked him, Sir, what is it, sir? I don't know. You fool, you don't know space science. That's why India is still a becoming country. The boat was moving. After some time, this pundit asked one more question. 
do you know this do you know that do you know this do you know that the boatman was giving re frequent replies i don't know i don't know i don't know so again the pandit asked him asked the boatman have you read a book how to swim across the water within 30 days hmm? no sir i don't know because i am an illiterate person how can i read a book on how to read how to swim across the water within 30 days i don't know the boat reached in the middle of the water then there was some problem with the boat the boatman turned back and asked him only question sir from the beginning onwards you have been asking so many questions you know this you know that do you know how to swim across the water have you read that book you ask these kind of questions do i ask a single question okay ask me the question is do you know swimming yeah i don't know you are merely waste sir the boat is going to sink into the water just he left the boat reached the shore the boatman is survived this pandit is lost his life it means that the writer cleverly has given us a good idea wonderful idea the boatman is a skilled person the pandit is a knowledgeable person if you want to skill just you become a boatman if you want to get knowledge of communication you become a pandit if you get a thousand pages knowledge on communication if you watch one lakh videos on communication if you read hundred hundreds of books on communication if you attend thousand classes on communication you never become a communicator unless you put your feet into the water if you want to become a swimmer your primary duty is put your feet into the water slowly you practice it skill is possible when you apply your knowledge so try to apply your knowledge first you learn some basics what is informal communication what is semi formal communication what is formal communication and what are the hurdles in communication how to overcome my hurdles so it is not about uh, failure and pass language is eternal nobody is perfect in language learning language acquisition if you keep on practicing if you keep on practicing you become a swimmer if you are away from water uh, reading books on swimming or uh, uh, watching videos on swimming you never become a swimmer thank you very much all the best again meet you in the next video just share your ideas share your thoughts with your feelings with me anytime again meet you one more time all the best bye bye